What's going on guys? It's TV and our frags. Okay, Preston here, and welcome to the KEM Strike with every single gun in the game series. Starting us off with the first gun is the SA-805, I believe. This is like one of my favorite assault rifles right now in Call of Duty Ghosts. But anyways, there is no time for that. Man, who is stoked for this series? Anybody remember the Modern Warfare 3 Mo with Every Gun series? Anybody? I, I know a lot of you guys remember it, and you miss it so much. So this is... It's basically bringing back the Modern Warfare 3 mob with every gun series, but in Call of Duty Ghosts, the KM Strike is literally the exact same thing as the Moab. So I'm so freaking excited for this series, guys. I know a lot of you guys are. And if you are, let's let's have a goal of 10,000 likes on this episode. I know we can do it. It will be freaking awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry this series took so long to get out. I wanted to start this series when Call of Duty Ghosts came out, but I, I had so much stuff going on, and not only that, but I wasn't really feeling the game. I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, Call, Call of Duty Ghost, man, it threw me a curveball. It threw me through the loop. There was a lot of issues with the PC version, which is what I play on. And not only that, but it was just it was just crazy. Like I couldn't get used to it. I couldn't get on streaks. I could barely hold a two you know, a two OKD ratio. And I used to play Call of Duty professionally for seven years since Call of Duty One. So this was like blowing my mind. I was like, what is wrong? Like why can I not do good in this game? And then you do just the more and more I played it, the more and more I realized that I've just, you know, I've really got to change my playstyle, and I've really got to learn the maps and just all the weapons and stuff like that. So, it's kind of crazy, but anyways, regardless, so happy to finally get this uh, episode out for you guys. So we're playing some Domination, and I actually got a KM with this gun uh, before, and I wanted to do, like, I wanted to upload the first episode like a week ago. But I, there's no theater mode, right? And my, my recording software messed up on me. So that's the one bad thing also about Call of Duty Ghosts is that there's no theater mode, which drives me crazy because, like, how can you, I don't know, like, it, it just, I, I need theater mode, man. Theater mode was, like, the saving grace because if you're live streaming and, you know, uh, like, you, you, you want to go back, if you get, like, a really cool gameplay, you want to go back in theater mode and record it and then upload it, but you can't do that anymore. And it's just super frustrating because, uh, you know, just... Like, recording software, like I said, can mess up and stuff like that. There's so many little issues that could go wrong. So, not having theater, I, I heard it's supposed to help out with the lag. I don't really notice that too much because I still feel like Call of Duty Ghost is, uh, it's like a good game frame rate wise, but I do feel like there's some areas where the frames drop, and then I also feel like, like, the, I, there definitely, there's no dedicated servers. At least on PC, you can tell there's a lot of lag compensation, a lot of stuff like that going around, but it's just something we all gotta get used to, and that's something that I've been having to deal with. Like, I, I go from Black Ops 2 dedicated servers on PC to now, you know, not dedicated servers. It's a big difference. Not only that, but they really made the lag compensation. They made it something else in this game. It is absolutely crazy. Takes a while to get used to, I say. So I'm finally starting to get used to that. Um, but yeah, anyways, okay, so this, oh man, I was so excited when I got this. I was like, yes, finally, I managed to get it. Some of the guys on my team, they had this awesome juggernaut thing, man, and he was a tank. He would, like, go in front of me and, like, just basically be this giant meat shield, and uh, it was freaking awesome. So, like, right here, get on, like, a nice 15 streak, and towards the end, man, it's, it's freaking, it's absolutely crazy what goes on. But I knew a lot of you guys were missing the really good gameplay videos and commentaries on my channel. I know a lot of you guys don't like the live commentaries, or you like them, but you'd like to see more variety of, you know, normal commentaries with the live commentaries. So, I uh, just wanted to apologize for that and let you guys know that more normal commentaries like this are coming out. Gonna be trying to go for more crazy gameplays, because I know a lot of you guys miss that. So, right here is crazy. I pick off one guy, see this guy, pick him off, go in the corner, start getting fired on, take this guy off, and I knew there was gonna be more, so I go around in this corner. He's got a shotgun. Thank God he's got terrible aim. Pick up the KM and pick up another guy. And I've got, like, three teammates over here on A that could have helped me and they just all like sat back there and didn't do anything it was driving me nuts I so thought I should have died right there like honestly if that guy with a shotgun had good aim I would have been dead and I would have died one off the KM and I would have raged so freaking hard but anyways here's the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe leave a like on the video check out my Twitter and Facebook down below hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll check you guys out later in other videos and look at this this guy's like I'm gonna take C and I was like dude listen here you're not gonna take C I'm sorry man it's just it's not gonna happen so check you guys out later thanks so much for watching have a good day and goodbye <laughs>